Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are. Blessings to you and your family. Do me a favor and stop right now and hit subscribe. Join the fam. I want to build up a community. And um, yeah, let's get into the video. So in today's video, I will be discussing my tips on how I maintain a clean home. These are tips that's going to help you, you know, keep everything together, limit the clutter, limit the mess, and um, let's get into it. Okay, so first we're in the foyer and there's a reason why we're in here because the floors. We have guests coming in and out and even us, we're coming in and out. So if you want to keep your um, floors clean, do you know what you need to do? Come closer. 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 I'm going to tell you something. Very important. Don't wear shoes in the house. So I don't want my guests to come in. I want them to feel comfortable, but I don't want them to come in with their shoes. All that was like all that dirt that's out on the ground, they're bringing it into your house on your floors. So every day when you're scrubbing or you're walking and you see your feet look dirty, nobody got time for that. So eliminate it by doing what? Provide a bench. So here I have provided a bench for our company and also for us. We have a bench next to the door. You sit down, you pull out your slippers, you pull out your um, shoe covers so people are uncomfortable wearing slippers and they don't want to take off their shoes, then just give them a shoe cover and call it a day. Let's move on. Now moving on to the dining room. I love light furniture. Everybody hates me because of this, but it just makes the room looks so much brighter and it just gives me energized just to see light things. It draws in the light in the room. I'm just in love with light furniture. Call me crazy, but there is a way that you could keep it clean. Scotch guard. Spray your furniture with Scotch guard. Even if it's not white, still spray. You could spray your carpet, even your clothes. They have Scotch guard free clothes, but spray it. And then all you have to do to maintain it is just vacuum it. Vacuum it to make sure that the dust is off. And then you just spot check it. And then voila, there you go. Of course, you can maintain it and it will last longer and stay more vibrant. If you do routine cleaning, like a deep cleaning, like maybe once a month or something like that. I do it a couple of times. Like, I think a couple of months, every couple of months, I don't even really have to go in there with a deep cleaning. But that's my tip on having light furniture. <laughs> okay, so we're big believers in everyone doing their part. We're big believers in chores. Everybody plays a part, right? So what I do to make it easier is I have these caddies full of all the supplies they need for each room. And then I have a little chore card. And on this chore card, it tells you everything that you need to do. And the caddy has all the products that you need to complete the chore in the room. So this is really a great idea, I think, because it helps my family that we won't have any excuses. Like if a kid comes up and says, oh, I didn't know what to do. Yeah, you did, because it was on the card. Okay, I'm sure you all have seen people cleaning their walls, their tubs, and their showers with mops. This idea is genius. I don't know who came up with it, but one, 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 one to you. Thank you, round of applause. I love this. I use this all the time. And um, this is just an easy way to clean and a smarter way to clean. Because right now in 2023, it is not about cleaning more it's about cleaning smarter not harder right okay this leads me to my next tip which is vacuuming i vacuum everything from floors to rugs to the couches to the chairs pools in victoria's um room and um you can use the different attachments depending on what you are vacuuming this eliminates the dust and this is just a really good tip to keep everything nice and clean while these tips are very helpful, we are not perfect, right? So our house is always not gonna be perfect. And I suggest you just allow yourself some leeway so that, and don't be so hard on yourself. You're gonna have good days and bad days. And at the end of the day, a mess, especially from kids and you cooking, is just proof of the fact that you have a family and you're making memories in it. So don't be too hard on yourself. As moms, we are way too hard on ourselves and we need to just kind of normalize the mess just a little bit without ruining our houses. 
Okay. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, blessings. A mess, especially from kids and you cooking, is really just an example or proof of your, hey! Welcome to my weight loss journey. Rule number one, don't deprive yourself of anything. Seriously, like once you deprive yourself of something, you're gonna be sitting in the kitchen later at nighttime while everybody's sleeping, stuffing your face with carbs. Learn how to enjoy it, but just a little bit. Welcome to my second, oops, second video in the same house.